we classified mosfet into two types the first one is enhancement type mosfet enhancement type mosfet and the second one is depletion type mosfet depletion type mosfet in this lecture we will solve two problems the first problem is based on enhancement type mosfet and the second problem is based on depletion type mosfet let's start with the problem number 1 given k is equal to 0 0.4 into 10 raised to power minus 3 ampere per volt square and id on is equal to 3.5 milliamp with vgs on equal to 4 volt determine voltage vt so this is the problem and let's move to the solution k is given it is equal to 0 0.4 into 10 raised to power minus 3 ampere per volt square id on is also given id on is equal to 3.5 milliamp voltage vgs on is equal to 4 volt and we have to find out the threshold voltage vt whenever you have to solve any problem based on mosfet then first thing you have to do is to find out whether the problem is based on enhancement type mosfet or it is based on depletion type mosfet this problem is having constant k and voltage vt k and vt are there in case of enhancement type mosfet so the problem is based on enhancement type mosfet we know the equation of current when mosfet is there in the triode region when the enhancement type mosfet is there in the triode region the equation of current id is equal to 2k inside the bracket parenthesis vgs minus vt multiplied with vds minus vds square by 2 bracket closed so this is the equation of current when mosfet is there in the triode region but as you can see clearly in the problem id on is given and also vgs on is given so the device is on and the device is on in the saturation region so we don't have to use this equation to find out the threshold voltage vt but we will use the equation of mosfet current when the mosfet operates in the saturation region and to find out the equation of current in the saturation region simply put simply put vds equal to vgs minus vt in this equation and you will have drain current id equal to k inside the bracket vgs minus vt whole square this is the equation and now using this equation you can easily find out the threshold voltage vt here id is the id on this drain current is id on and vgs is vgs on now we will find out the threshold voltage vt on the left hand side we will have 3.5 milliamp 3.5 milliamp the value of id on and on the right hand side k is equal to 0 0.4 into 10 raised to power minus 3 ampere per volt square 0 0.4 into 10 raised to power minus 3 ampere per volt square inside the bracket vgs on is equal to 4 volt minus vt whole square or we can write 3.5 milliamp divided by 0 0.4 into 10 raised to power minus 3 ampere per volt square equal to 4 volt minus vt whole square ampere ampere will cancel out and the unit will become volt square 10 raised to power minus 3 and milli will cancel out so we are going to have we are going to have 8.8.75 volt square on the left hand side and on the right hand side we will have 4 volt minus vt whole square now we will square root both the sides and this will give us 2.95 volt equal to 4 volt minus vt so the threshold voltage vt is simply equal to 1.05 volt this is the answer this is the answer of the first problem now we will solve the second problem the second problem is based on depletion type mosfet because you can see pinch of voltage 
pinch of voltage is there in case of depletion type MOSFET given drain current ID is equal to 4 milliamp at VGS gate to source voltage equal to minus 2 volt determine the saturation current if VP the pinch of voltage is equal to minus 4 volt this is very easy problem we have to find out IDSS we already know the formula it is same as the formula in case of junction field effect transistor the drain current is equal to IDSS inside the bracket 1 minus VGS by VP whole square ID is given in the problem ID is given in the problem VGS is given in the problem VP is also given in the problem and the only thing left is IDSS you can easily calculate the saturated drain current I am not going to perform the mathematical calculations you have to perform it this is homework or assignment for you and once you have your answer once you have the value of IDSS leave your answer in the comment section I will end this lecture here see you in the next one